What's up everybody? Welcome back to It's All Me. Tonight, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to be speaking on why I got a tattoo. And it's gonna be kind of a correlation of two subjects. My tattoo, the story behind it, the meaning behind it, as well as my personal faith, my Christian faith, that plays a part in my tattoo as well. I had a person comment on the most recent burping contest video. His name is Sebastian and he said it would be really cool if I made a video about my faith. And so I figured I'd go ahead and mend two worlds together because I had mentioned after our Demon Hunter concert that I would make a video discussing, you know, my, my relationship with Demon Hunter and my tattoo, but also correlate that with Sebastian's suggestion of making a video about my Christian faith and put the two worlds together and just kind of give you an all around picture of everything that's going on in my life in regards to faith and how my tattoo plays into that. So, go ahead and just showcase my tattoo right now. It is upside down, so it is actually, if you look at my shirt, is actually the logo right side up. And my logo here is the original incarnation of the, the logo, the Demon Hunter logo, which is actually the head of a demon with a bullet hole right through the center, hence Demon Hunter. To jump back, I got involved with Demon Hunter back in 2002. I first heard about them through a Christian thing that I was doing at my high school. And they basically, they handed out a, a sheet of secular artists that had correlating Christian artists that would sound similar. And I remember looking specifically on the list and they showed Slipknot with a direct relation to Demon Hunter being kind of like their Christian equal, if you will. And so I went home and I checked them out. And at that point, literally I was hooked. We're talking 18 years now that I've been obsessed with Demon Hunter. I actually got my tattoo in the summer of 2018. I prayed about getting this tattoo for 13 months because when it comes to tattoos, this is a permanent part of my body. And so I wasn't going to take getting my first tattoo lightly. And so I prayed very consistently about this. I just asked that the Lord would let me know if I should, if I shouldn't, and kind of lead me in the direction of what I wanted to get. And I always knew that I wanted to get something Demon Hunter related with the idea most likely leaning towards getting the Demon Hunter skull. You know, I just wanted to make sure that I was being prayerful about that and discerning what the Lord wanted me to do in regards to getting a tattoo or not getting a tattoo. But as you can see, I ended up getting that tattoo after 13 months of prayerfully discerning, you know, the Lord's will and, and what he would have me do. You can see that my faith was paramount even in the process of getting my tattoo. And for me, I was raised in a Christian home. Uh, both my parents were Christians and I was raised in a Bible believing church going household. And prayed before we ate dinner, we listened to Christian music, and I was homeschooled with Christian curriculum. You know, basically everything around me had a Christian influence. I owe 95% of who I am today to the homeschooling and my parents and just my faith all around. If it wasn't for the Lord, I would not be where I'm at today. I would not know my wife. I would not have this tattoo. You know, there'd be a lot of, a lot of things that would be different. My faith is pinnacle to me. I actually spent several months before starting my YouTube channel just praying about, you know, starting this. A lot of people had told me that I should start a channel and that there was things that I, I did in my life and that I could showcase that they would really enjoy seeing. But I wanted to make sure that this was something that the Lord wanted me to pursue as well. And I always knew that I had a passion for filmmaking. And shortly before I started to take this idea of YouTube seriously was when the Lord helped me rediscover my passion for filmmaking. And so it just made perfect sense to kind of prayerfully discern, okay, how do you want me to pursue this passion? And it was through the avenue of YouTube. So here we are, over a year later, I'm, I'm here on YouTube, you know, a lot of great followers and supporters, and I'm just really grateful for that. Go ahead and show a little bit more detail of my tattoo here. So as you can see, um, yeah, this is the original logo for Demon Hunter and every single album that they do is a different version of the skull. And so with this one here, this is from their latest double album, War in Peace. The silver is for the peace record and the gold one here represents the war record. To say that Demon Hunter has saved my life in a way is entirely accurate because anytime that I've been in a situation where I'm overwhelmed or I'm anxious or just something really emotional, I turn to Demon Hunter and their, their music, it allows me to just kind of live in those moments but not let those moments define me. I remember, you know, in high school and in college, 
that I'd be like really upset about, you know, whatever it is, whether it maybe is an argument with a friend or, you know, something going on in a relationship or whatever it might be. Maybe it was a bad night at work that I would just come home and I'd just blare Demon Hunter and it would just kind of bring me back to center. And so when I started to think about the idea of a tattoo, I thought, what has been so monumental in my life? What has made a massive impact on me and who I am and what defines me? Like if you know me personally, what is one thing that you can pretty much point your finger at and say, yes, that is definitely Jesse? Well, most people turn in and answer that question with Demon Hunter. They know that I love Demon Hunter. It's a heavy metal band, and as I've showcased on my channel, it just made sense that the very first ink that I put on my body represented my my love and admiration and dedication to this band. Since then, I've considered other tattoos, but I just haven't had anything stick you know, the way that this idea did. And so it was July 27th of 2018. I went to a little tattoo parlor. I think it took just shy of two hours. And a lot of people say that the pain is pretty intense with a tattoo, but I really didn't experience that. It's a burning sensation, but at the same time, it, I understand why people say it gets addictive because there's just something about it that makes you want more. And so obviously since that time, I've been throwing around different ideas and we'll most likely get another one at some point. I just don't know what it will be. If I do get it, where it will be located and things like that and what exactly it'll represent. I'm praying about that and I will continue to pray about another tattoo because if the Lord you know, pushes me one way or the other, then that's what I'm gonna do. If, if he just wants me to have the one tattoo and that's what he leads me to believe, then that's what I'm gonna go with because you know, in, in my Christian faith, I'm constantly seeking after you know, the will that God has for my life, whether it's in my job, whether it's with my YouTube channel, whether it's in my marriage or my family, personal life, whatever it is, I need to take it to him. And I need to say, Lord, you know, this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm hoping for. You know, this is what I desire. Just let him take the reins because honestly, nothing that I do in this life is going to make any sort of an impact if I try to just do it on my own. Yeah, I have a support system around me, but when you have the support of the creator of the world and, and you palm your hands, because he's he's around us at all times, he's omnipresent. And to know that I have this amazing creator of everything that wants to help me live the best life possible, then who am I to sit and say that that's outlandish? Yeah, it, it's pretty comic book if you think about it. The idea of this massive being that controls and creates everything that you've never actually seen physically. But the thing about it is you feel him personally, like you have spiritual experiences. I've been able to experience his healing power both in my personal life as well as with my mom. And for those who don't know, my mom was diagnosed with mesothelioma, which is a, a very serious form of cancer back in 2016. It did not look good and there was definitely a lot of fear about it. So we, we laid hands on her and we prayed heavily that the Lord would heal her and the cancer was literally balled up perfectly and the doctors basically just went in and scooped it out and to this day my mom is cancer free we know it's because the lord went in and he took care of it for her i had a sinus surgery and the scar tissue had fused in my sinuses the doctors had to consistently go in there and open the the sinus cavity back open but it consistently kept fusing back together. I just was having a really hard time breathing and I was getting a lot of infections in my sinuses. The church I was going to at the time, they laid hands on me and I felt that scar tissue literally snap apart. And I went to the doctor the next day and he said, you're completely healed. So I'm just letting you know, this idea, this faith that I have in my heart and that I live out daily is not some figment of the imagination. It's a real thing. God exists, he heals, the God of the Bible, where you read about the miracles that he did, whether it's parting the Red Sea or raising the dead, like that power still exists today in this earth. The tattoo that I have on my arm is just a further representation of that power, that power of salvation, that power of faith, that power of healing. When we have the right tools and the right things at our fingertips that the Lord gives us, that we can go hunting after those demons that we, we have in our lives. And we can kill them, we can slay them, because the Lord says, that we, with the faith of a mustard seed, can move a mountain. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that the faith of a mustard seed moved the mountain of cancer out of my mom's body and moved fused scar tissue out of my sinuses and healed me completely. You know, I just wanna urge you that if you have any questions about this faith, reach out to me and we can, we can have a conversation about this. God is the greatest thing that will ever, ever happen to you. I just wanna just encourage you to seek him out for yourself. If you have questions about it, seek it out, research it. Open the Bible and start reading it. See what he says. 
get on your knees and start praying. You don't need to have a script. You can literally just drop to your knees and say, hey God, so this is a thing, huh? This praying thing, not really sure what I'm doing. And I promise you, he'll begin to speak to you. If you open your heart enough to it, he'll begin to speak to you. I just, uh, I'm just glad to have the opportunity and glad to have this avenue that I can go on and speak bravely about my faith. Uh, we live in a world where a lot of feelings and a lot of opinions exist, and I'm not gonna ever shy away from my faith. And that's why I proudly had this tattoo on my arm, because I wanna proudly show something that makes people go, what's that all about? Especially if you're seeing it from upside down and you have no idea what this logo is, you're gonna ask questions, like what, what's your tattoo? And I can say, oh, it's a Christian heavy metal band, Demon Hunter, let me tell you why I have it. And that opens a whole nother opportunity to talk to them about the saving grace of Jesus Christ. And so I just wanted to bring that to my channel to let you guys know that that is a massive part of it's all me. Without God, there is no it's all me. Without God, there is no Jesse all me. Without God, there are no videos. Without God, there's no equipment to film on and edit with. You just have to take a step back and give God the glory because without him, none of this exists. So in light of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any other suggestions um, for videos you'd like to see or topics you'd like me to touch on, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to set up this camera and hit that record button and just sit and talk to you guys about some things that are going on in my heart and in my life. But again, if you have questions about faith or God or Jesus, reach out to me and let's talk about it. And if you have questions about tattoos too, by all means, let me know because I love, 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 love tattoos. Even though I don't have sleeves of them, I, I love the idea of, of skin art and body art. And so let's talk about it. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for, for hitting that like button. All that support that just drives my channel and gives me the opportunity to continue to, to make these videos. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Hit that like button because the likes help push my videos. And remember, it is all knee and no foot. And we will see you in the next one.